Hey guys, this is the Volvo C40. So, now looking at this new Volvo C40 recharge. So this is a full electric car, okay, and it's an EV obviously. Now, looking at the whole front end here, okay, it is based on the XC40 facelifted, okay. So why I say this so? Because this headlight has become sharper. So, um, but they still retain the Thor's hammer lights. So this signature is still there, but they have made it sharper. And moving to the technology of these lights, okay, this uses matrix LED, okay. So it's more brighter than ever, and it also creates a more good looking car. Okay, with these lights coming to this design. Okay, this is a single piece design, so which means this part here it is body colored. But originally in the XC40 uh, petrol, they have this as their grill. Okay, but now they have made it as a single piece um, design. Okay, and the Volvo logo is still here. Okay, this single line is still there. And over to the down, okay, this part is very important. It's obviously to generate more downforce. So. This, the below part here, there's the intercoolers hidden. And um, moving to the side intakes, okay, there's no any functional, but it's functioned as a fog light. So they still retain the fog lights into here, uh, which means this is LED also, and this is LED also. Okay, but I love the design. It's kind of a L shape, okay, and, there, and there's a lot of motifs, motifs going on there. So I, I personally like that, and I feel this color here, this sage green, is fantastic. Okay, so there's a lot of colors options. So let me tell you the colors options they have. Okay, the colors that they have for this C40 is a crystal white, okay, sage green, which is this, and also um, thunder gray, okay, and they also have fiat blue. All colors for this car is suitable because this roof is in black color, so which means it's two tone. So if you buy this car in white, it will look even more striking. Talking about these rims, okay, these are 19 inches in size. And personally, this two-tone design is fantastic, okay? Because they, have, they use a lot of motifs here, especially this Y-shaped motif. So I, I personally like this, okay? And this, this, uh, this size is in 235. So it uses different uh, set of profiles because the rear uses 255 and the front uses 235. But, the, but they are running in the same rim size, okay? As the XC40, but the designs are different, obviously. In terms of the wheelbase, the size of this car. So this car is slightly longer than the XC40. It's six millimeters longer due to this sloping roofline, okay? And also it is 70 millimeters lower, okay? So it is more sportier because of the lower ride height, okay? But it also retains the SUV kind of look. So I personally like the look of this car because this sloping roofline, and that's why it is a C40, okay? So C means it's a coupe. So this is a coupe version of the XC40 recharge. Talking about the rear end, okay. So this is where uh, there's a lot of changes from the XC40 recharge, okay. Because this rear end heavily inspired from coupe SUVs, okay. Especially this one, okay. I believe you see this in many sports cars, but they have applied here for, for the XC40 recharge due to its aerodynamic, okay. And again, this again, this is another set of spoiler. Okay, this one is the upper spoiler, this one is the lower spoiler. So it's a very nice touch and it's black in color. So it's basically uh, fantastic. Okay, third brake light hidden inside here and this L shaped lights, it's still retained from the XC40. However, these lines have been changed a bit and I, I personally like the design of these lights because uh, it makes the car even more modern and also it, make, it suits the coupe profile of this car. So, especially this these lines over here and moving to the lower end that we have here so this one they use the reflectors okay but there's no any um, diffusers or anything they just use with a one single black line this one comes with a power boot and also um, easy access so which means if you kick your foot it will close or either open now this okay so for the for the sacrificed coupe roof line the boot space has been reduced to 480 meters compared to the 430 liters in the XC40 recharge. So, uh, but however, it's still a very practical car and especially you have this function, okay? 
where you can hook up your stuffs here, here and here. So your shopping bags will be safe and when you drive um, very fast then it won't destruct. Okay, so it's very nice touch and there's also another one here there's, so there's no need space saving spare tyres or spare, spare tyres because this car uses run flat tyres. So everything, your shoes or any expensive stuff, let's say your laptop, you can put over here so it's safe. And you also can fold your seats to make it up to 1,110 uh, litres. So that's even more spacious. Now, talking about these door cuts here, okay, it's very huge, the compartments are huge here. And materials, this material is 100% recyclable. Okay? And the leather, the materials that they use is quite good. Okay? Even though it's not leather, it's 100% leather free. Okay? Lock buttons, nice touch for passengers. So you don't need to reach for the driver's seats to unlock the car. And in terms of compartment, this is the iPad here. So I can put perfectly here. And look at it, look at it. Even if I put the iPad, there's a lot of space here. Okay, so which means I can put my laptops and bigger stuff. So it's a good touch for the compartments. Okay, now, now we are in the driver's seat of this car. Okay, first of all, this interior is classy. Okay, so this interior is heavily inspired from the XC40. Uh, obviously, it's the same sibling. Okay, so um, there's no any differences in terms of interior. But however, the only differences that I spot is this, this material here. Okay. Um, it's quite different, you know. Um, normally, car makers use wood or carbon fiber, but this one, the materials is very, very unique. And look at the motifs that they put, especially this. Yeah, I really like this. It's it's a kind of an art work by Volvo. And overall, the steering wheel that they use for this uh, C40 or the XC40 um, uses uses the same design language, but however, this is not in gloss black. So um, it's plastic, okay, but still same controls, okay. Now this touch screen. Now let's take a look at this touch screen here. Now this touch screen is heavily inspired of uh, Google UI. It's using Google UI obviously. Okay, but there is also wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Now look at this in-car air quality, which means it uh, measures your air quality and change it depends on the usage. Now let's take a look at this Google Maps, just from your phone, so it's very easy to use. And look at the maps they have. Okay, quite high resolution quite fast this is the first ever um, car make, uh, global car maker that attached Google Maps in your car not only that we also have Google Assistant now this is the Google Assistant that we have car status okay oh okay there's something here um, honors manual they even have Play Store okay so let's take a look at the Play Store uh, now there's nothing there okay let's look at the cameras this is the camera front camera Okay, so you also can opt for 360 degree cam. The stitching is quite good. They have put some some stitches here. Okay, but uh, the camera condition I believe is okay for this car. Side view, so everything is here. And other than that, all of them. Uh, moving to the this section here. Okay, what we have here is obviously this gear lever. It's personally for me, it's looking very good. Okay, so uh, compared to the other siblings like XC60 or S60, they have the Swarovski Crystal uh, gear lever, but this one due to its its model range, okay, they will never ever uh, try to put that. But still, it's good, okay. It's still good looking, okay. Parking, all of them are here. Cup holders, very simple design. You have three wireless charging here, and fantastic, okay. Why I say fantastic because you can put your phone over here. So let's say you don't want to connect your Android Auto. Still put your phone here and connect it to your waist so you can still do that. So it's a very good touch because nowadays people, uh, not many people are using Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, but unless it's wireless, but still you can put your phone over here. Then you have 12 volt um, socket, okay, for your charging. Uh, one, two USB ports here, okay, and this one here. This is um, kind of a trash can which I believe you can throw something. But you, if you don't want to use this, you can put this into your glove box. Okay. I believe it won't fit. Okay. But when you open all of this, look at the storage space. Okay. It's huge. You can put your handbags here, your mini handbags here. Okay. Uh, key detecting sensors is here. And that's it. So everything is very simple. Luckily, they have opt for open compartment so you can put your wallets you can chuck in your heavy items 
then other than that we have this frameless mirrors i believe it's a new trend for all of the cars out there now there's no buttons for these lights okay you press it's haptic feedback so even the sos button this 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 all are related to uh, safety assistant from Volvo Malaysia from VCM Volvo Cars Malaysia and this one here is another motif okay I like this motif so as I told you no shades for this final roof then this vanity mirrors no lights but they have made the lights hidden inside the smart move okay the seats okay now um, basically in terms of safety systems the safety system in this car is also the seats why I say that because the seats that they offer is one of the most ergonomic seats out there because the spinal because in terms of uh, that when you see like uh, accidents um, most of them got uh, got problems um, in spinal cord due to the accidents but basically these seats here the, the they really really spend a lot of hours to do the seats and also they also um, come with the XC90 XC60 now this car also has the same seats so Volvo Cars Malaysia has talked to them to specs the same kind of seats and in terms of comfort no doubts best seats okay and this is a radio control this this touch i really like okay this is fantastic and other than that this this part is very simple okay nothing to talk about fantastic now you may see this one thing is quite quir quirky but there is no push start button for this car yes that's another um, quicks about this car okay um, so how did it start when you see uh, when you move up your seats okay and then you put your keys so it will detect a person that's going on then yes it will start okay but unless a person have the keys if not it won't start okay then that's it and you, and don't forget 16 watt uh, 400 watt Harman Kardon speakers there's 14 speakers in this car so fantastic Harman Kardon they have nailed it we have tweeters here, roof mounted, uh, pillar mounted tweeters. Okay, so it's really nice. And overall, it's a fantastic interior. Okay, uh, there's no doubt in terms of interiors, Volvo does their job very good. Uh, first of all, I want to show you the rear seats because uh, due to these changes on this roof line, still they have retained um, nice minimalistic headroom for this car, but. Okay, it's still suitable for me. I'm in 171 centimeter of tall. So um, if anybody taller than me, um, it's around 180 or 190, they will struggle. They definitely struggle over here. But uh, overall, I think this car is very spacious. Okay, um, the rivals like a GLA or X1 is still quite spacious and comfortable uh, in the rear seats. Okay, but for longer journeys, due to this, uh, seats are like slightly tilted to an upright position. So I can feel that um, you may struggle a bit, but still, it's a very nice car because due to its comfort there. And this one is a new bug type of uh, seat materials, okay? Uh, they are also leather used. Speaking of leather, this car is 100% leather free. Yes, okay? So this leather is not original leather. You can recycle, these materials that they use are recycled, fully recycled. So 100% they save the environment, okay? Now, in terms of leg room, okay? It's usual, it's very nice, spacious. Okay, this compartments here, okay? You can even put your MacBook here because even if I put the iPad, it still can start properly. So that's an advantage of this car. And this uh, window linings, okay, is quite shorter, but still uh, vis visibility is still good in this car, okay? And overall, that's it. And before that, you have the armrest here, okay? You have some moldings here for your cup holders so, so that your cups won't fly around when you drive this car faster so that's another good touch about this and this air conditioning vents okay they are very functional you cannot adjust your temperature here because this is not a third tone temperature car okay so you can off on and you also can make it um, faster if you want okay and you also have a uh, USB port here two C uh, USB C type uh, ports to charge your phones okay I believe it's very useful these days and this air conditioning vents is proper but however they don't have in this b pillars okay so but um, still it's a compact car so air, air conditioning is quite good in this car because they have at least have rear air vents so it's a good touch basically and we also have this panoramic roof okay 
So, and there's a fun fact about this panoramic roof. This panoramic roof doesn't have sheets. Okay, so um, it's not because of something. But now, uh, the this this car's battery is sized at 78.9 kilowatts battery. Okay, so uh, the same size of battery is used for the XC40 recharge as well. So, in terms of output, they generate from the battery is 440. 408 horsepower and 660 newton meters of torque. Mind blowing for this type of uh, SUV, but still it's a sports SUV if you consider the 660 newton meters of torque. When, when that's applied to your car, it means this car goes to 0 to 600 in just 4.7 seconds. Mind blowing, that's another huge numbers, okay, for this type of SUV. And in terms of charging, we have two ports AC, DC. Okay, in terms of range, there's another fact about this range. Okay, it's quite unique. Um, basically, what, what the Volvo claims that the range of this car is at 450 kilometers, but the direct sibling of this car, the XC40, has 438 kilometers of range. It's quite unique, even though they say the same, they, sh they share the same platform, same output, but uh, maybe, maybe it's due to some um, defects or something, uh, but I do, I'm not sure. Okay. So overall, I think the battery packs okay, is huge, um, but because of the outputs, it's huge. So I personally respect that. Now, the safety systems that we have in this car, a lot, okay? But uh, what they have here is a uh, blind spot information system with steer assist. It's quite unique because uh, normally blind spot assist, they normally uh, do uh, point out some alarms, okay? But this car, they provide steer assist, unique. Okay, lane keeping aid. Okay, the, that is a lane keeping function there, which means if you, 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 when you are tired or something, you can on the function, so it will keep in your lane. And also, uh, blind spot information system, um, oncoming lane mitigation and cross, okay, which means um, if, if any, any vehicles is going to the front and then it can cross, so it will give mitigation warning. Okay, and traffic alert, CTA. And also, obviously, auto braking, these are the standard safety features that we have this car. So basically, it's a level 2 autonomous driving system and I personally think that's a lot, okay? But now, um, all, for all of the features that they have in this car, how much is the price of this car? Okay, this car is priced at 289,000 ringgit. It is also locally assembled by Volvo Malaysia and also this car is 10,000 ringgit more expensive than the XC40 which I personally think is worth it because you look at the rear end itself, okay? Uh, the front end is the same but the rear end makes this car truly, truly standing out from the XC40, okay? So, um, coming to the conclusion of this part, okay, for this Volvo C40. Now, this car is fantastic. All around, I see everything is uh, good for my eyes, okay? So, everything I see here is fantastic, beautiful, nice approach, and also the 100% leather free, which is really, really good. They are providing good environment for us to leave us more better area, okay? So that's it for the Volvo XC40. Don't forget to subscribe and also hit the like button. So let's go. Thank you to Kelly and um, Ingress Suite Automobile to receive us for a warm welcome. And it's, it's quite a happy moment to shoot this car. So thank you so much also for uh, Volvo Cars Malaysia.